morning, Shiloh. Welcome to the Sunday morning announcements. Today's announcements are brought to you by this 5'7 ambitious host, Kenyatta M. Collins. First things first, congratulations to the class of 2020. Shiloh is proud of you and your accomplishments. Shiloh's roots run deep throughout the community in education. Let me remind you that the Shiloh scholarship applications are available on the church's website. The deadline to submit applications is extended to May 29, 2020. The Winstonia McKesson Smith Memorial Scholarship is now the Charles and Winstonia McKesson Smith Memorial Scholarship, and it is a $6,000 award. Shiloh encourages its members and friends to participate in prayer by phone. Each Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 a.m., meet Reverend Emmanuel Smith, Minister Rodney Johnson, and other believers. In addition, we offer an evening prayer by phone opportunity Monday through Friday at 6 p.m. That's led by Pastor Fred Jeff, by the way. To get connected, call 425-436-6377, then enter the code 337-747. And do you know what else happens on Mondays at Shiloh? Red beans and rice Mondays, that's what. Pull up from noon to 2 p.m. for a hot plate meal on us. Let's challenge each other to reach out to five people that we have not spoken to in some time. Let us do our part to stay connected. And while we're connecting, let's spread the word of the important upcoming election dates. COVID-19 showed us who our true leaders are. Let's make ourselves aware and prepare to cast our vote. Have you been counted? This is a reminder to complete your census 2020 by visiting 2020census.gov. We cannot touch each other yet or experience worship in the sanctuary, but we can smile, wave, and shout to each other. Pastor Fred and Reverend Demetria, I'm happy to announce the second Shiloh wave. Let's do it again. On Friday, June 5th, between 11 a.m. and 12 noon, drive by and participate in our wave parade on Shiloh's parking lot and pick up communion in preparation for the Lord's Supper on June 7th via live stream. We are asking everyone to remain in your car as we practice social distancing. That concludes this week's announcements. Continue to practice personal safety as the world begins to reopen. Stay hydrated and you'll see me right here on next week. Have a good one.